Okay, so up until this point, um, we have talked about the three layers of the hair, the medulla, the cortex, and the cuticle. The medulla being the center, the cortex being sort of like the in-between, and the cuticle being the outside. Today what we're going to talk about is how these hair, um, how each hair strand interacts with each other. Okay, so this is how your um, textbook illustrates the polypeptide helix, okay? Each bead here represents a different amino acid, okay? And you'll notice that it's kind of like wrapping around. That indicates the helix, okay? And then each link in this polypeptide represents the peptide bond that is holding the amino acids together. Okay, this is a little blurry, but we can kind of see there, the cortex is made up of millions and millions of polypeptide chains, okay? So even though there are two, just two polypeptide chains here, you need to think about when we're talking about one single strand of hair, there's millions and millions of these peptide bonds inside of there. And within these polypeptide bonds or these chains, we can have three different types of interactions with the polypeptide chain. You can have a salt bond, you can have a disulfide bond, and you can have a hydrogen bond. So let's talk about each of those independently. Okay, so a hydrogen bond is a weak physical bond that can easily be broken by water and heat, right? So like when you wash your hair, when you blow dry your hair, straighten your hair, curl your hair, what have you. Even though hydrogen bonds are weak, there are many of them within the hair and it accounts for one third of your overall hair strength. I think the most important thing to realize here with a hydrogen bond is that even though it's called a bond, these, this oxygen and this hydrogen are not actually bonded together. It's more of what we refer to as an interaction, right? So they're kind of like this and they kind of just are attracted to each other, but they don't any, in any way touch. And that's what makes them so weak is because they're not actually bonded. They're more of having an interaction with each other. A salt bond is also considered weak, okay? It is a physical side bond between polypeptide chains, just like the hydrogen bond. These bonds depend specifically on the pH of the hair, okay? So these are easily broken by um, alkaline or basic or acidic solution. So it can go one way or the other. So if we change the pH um, of what we're dealing with, so like shampoo, conditioner, things like that, um, you can ultimately break a salt bond. And they also account for a third of the hair strength. Okay, a same thing here, um, a salt bond, they're not actually um, bonded together they're stuck together because they have opposite charges, right? So I have a positive charge here and a negative charge here. So if you think about a magnet, when they come together, you can still see the difference between the two magnets, but they're still interlocked with each other. So, um, but you can easily pull a magnet apart, right? And so that's why salt bonds are considered weak bonds as well. And then lastly, we have disulfide bonds, okay? Disulfide bonds are the only strong chemical bond um, within your the hair cortex, okay? The bond joins sulfur atoms of two neighboring cysteine amino acids. So cysteine is just one of those 20 amino acids, and it creates cysteine, okay? This causes two polypeptide strands to join together, okay? So unlike the hydrogen bond where they were like just interacting with each other, and unlike the salt bond where they were just kind of like magnetized together, what's happening with these polypeptides is they're actually bonding together, okay? This is the only one where the polypeptides join each other, okay? These cannot be broken by water because you have to think about it, right? There is a new chemical that has been formed, right? So in order to break it, you have to apply different chemicals in order to break that disulfide bond. And how do we do that? We can do that by um, using permanent waves, okay, and chemical hair relaxers. That's it. Thank you.